In this tutorial you will learn how to retrieve a number of promoters from the genome annotation, to define a common pattern of transcription factor binding sites from these promoter sequences, and to find additional matches for this pattern in a promoter database. You will use the programs gene to promoter FrameWorker and Model Inspector. Transcription factors usually do not work alone, but in combination. A transcription factor may be able to bind its binding site on its own, but for forming a functional protein complex that can initiate transcription, it depends on other factors, of which some also bind the DNA at specific sites. The binding sites for the different factors generally need to be ordered in a pattern on the DNA to allow the proper formation of a functional complex. In different situations, different patterns might be active, for example during development. These functional patterns are called promoter modules. It is more conducive to functional promoter analysis to identify them than just to look for single transcription factor binding sites. However, there are a lot of binding sites in a promoter, and even more possible combinations of them, but only a few of them will be functional in a specific context. To spot them, we need to compare several promoters that can be assumed to be co-regulated, and find patterns that are common to them. We'll start with a list of transcripts from a human glioblastoma cell line that bind E2F4 in their promoters during the G0 phase of the cell cycle. E2F4 is a transcriptional repressor of the E2F family of transcription factors whose activity is cell cycle dependent. We want to identify common patterns in the promoters of these transcripts that contain a binding site for E2F4 and thus could be the basis for common regulation by E2F4 during G0. I will call these patterns frameworks or models. First, we need to identify the promoters of our transcripts. For this, we use gene to promoter. We have two options for starting a search. Let's take the first option here, which allows us to analyze the promoters directly from the output. I copy the transcript accession numbers from this file to the gene to promote the search term field. You could also use other identifiers here, for example gene symbols. Lastly, we should select the organism, human in this case. Now we can start the search. We get a list of genes that have been found using our search terms. The program could assign all of them unambiguously, so we can just continue here. On the result page we get a list of genes with their promoters and transcripts. The transcripts whose accession numbers we used for the search are highlighted and only their corresponding promoters are selected. We can now run a comparative analysis on these promoters. There are a number of different analysis options to select from. Let's continue with FrameWorker. This program helps us find common frameworks in the promoters. First, we select the transcription factor binding sites we are interested in. We will use all matrices from the core promoter and vertebrate section. Next, we set some parameters that influence the stringency of the search. Any common pattern should be present in at least four of our promoters, and it needs to contain a matching binding site for E2F4, which belongs to the V$E2FF binding site family. Everything else remains unchanged. The distance between neighboring binding sites in the pattern can be between 5 and 200 base pairs. Distances in different promoters can vary by up to 10 base pairs. The pattern can contain between 2 and 6 binding sites. We get 300 combinations consisting of two binding sites and four with three binding sites. I click this link to jump directly to a description of the models with three elements. The binding sites in the first three element framework are for cripple-like factors, interferon regulatory factors and our mandatory E2F factor. The pattern is trans-specific and allows for some variation in the distances between the binding sites matching the constraints that we have set. Four promoters contain the common pattern. They belong to PLK1, CDC25A, BRCA2 and CCNA2, 
which all have a function in the sales cycle. The binding sites in the promoters are shown as colored elements, KLFS blue, IRFF magenta, and E2FF light brown. The color code is also shown in the legend. The frameworks are covered by a gray shade in each promoter. The band errors indicate transcription start sites of annotated transcripts. There are three more frameworks found in different sets of promoters. Apart from the mandatory E2F binding site, they contain BRNF and HOXF. The same combination here, only with a slightly different pattern. And the last combination consists of KLFS and two E2F sites. Now that I have identified common patterns of regulatory elements in some cell cycle associated genes, I can use them to look for other genes with the same pattern in the promoters. Maybe we'll find even some additional cell cycle genes sharing the framework. I will use the first one here. Let's give it a better name and save it. The framework is saved. Next, I'm going to search for it in other promoters. The program for this is called Model Inspector, and we can start it directly here for our framework by pressing this button. The only other thing I need to specify is where to search. I'm going to look in a database of promoters of all genes with a proper annotation in Eldorado. The upper limit of 1000 for the match number will be enough here, and we'll also get the geo category statistics for the genes with a match in a promoter. To see the result directly in the browser window, I'll need to change this option. Now let's run it. We get only 51 matches for our model in the whole promoter database. You get a list of promoters and genes with matches, and also the strand orientation and the position of the match within the promoter. All in all, we have searched more than 100,000 sequences. Next is the gene ontology category analysis of the genes in the list. In the biological processes, the top 10 are all cell cycle associated terms. Cell division with five genes is the most generic annotation term in our result set. With the show all columns button, you can display the gene symbols and gene IDs. In addition to the genes from whose promoters the model was defined, we have found another cell division gene, SYCP2, sharing this pattern. That's it. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you don't miss any of the other tutorials on this site.